How's it going YouTube? In this video we are going to talk about creating custom pagination within Laravel 4. If you just need the basic version of the pagination, just go to Laravel's website and find the pagination link in their documentation. And you should be up and running here um, within a couple of minutes using the basic uh, default pagination. But in my case I'm working with the Smart Admin um, template. Uh, basically it's a Twitter bootstrap theme. Um, this is from ratbootstrap.com and on the right here you'll see these um, these two arrows and this is really quite similar to the simple um, pagination option that you have within Laravel and we see we just have two arrows here and um, if we uh, if we inspect these we can inspect them and take a look at them and you'll see um, it's kind of it's kind of interesting how they've done it here the theme creators but they have a div and inside that's an A tag, and inside that's a strong tag, and then inside that is an I tag, and then there's um, some, I guess some funky CSS inside there. But um, anyways, I don't really want to mess with this. I, I really like how it looks right now. So I just want to get this um, working within Laravel. I'm inside configview.php here, and I've updated my pagination to... Uh, what I have right now, basically I'm grabbing the first segment of the URL and I'm appending that to um, pagination to um, basically so I can have custom pagination for all of the different pages on my site so I just decided to make this um, dynamic here for now. But basically what this is doing is this is referencing um, initially it's a referencing a view which is in um, Laravel's folder so if you go into your vendor folder Laravel Framework SRC Illuminate, and then go into Pagination Views, and you'll see three different options here. Um, I believe the one you start off with is Slider Dash Three, um, but you can also change that to a few different styles. You can update it to just Slider.php this view, or you can use the simple one. And in the simple one, um, really there's just two arrows, and they say Previous and Next, and what I want to do is something similar to this one so I'm basically using this one um, as a starting point and I'm, I'm modifying that to um, you know get it the way I want to so that um, what I end up with is exactly um, like what is in the theme here and you can see my end result over here um, it is exactly the same so the first thing you'll need to do is go into your view.php and you will need to reference your own view here so um, basically what I have right now here is just going to look like pagination.inbox. This is the um, view I'm referencing right now. I'm just doing it um, dynamically. So um, update this to the view that you're going to create and if I go back um, into my views folder here you'll see that I now have a pagination folder and inside that is inbox.blade.php. So we have inbox.blade.php right here and basically what I've started off with here is I've just copied and pasted this um, from the simple um, from the simple one that comes with Laravel. So that one is right here. It's inside um, illuminate views simple.php. And what I've done is I've copied all of this and then I've pasted it into my own um, inside inbox.blade.php. And what I've done is I've um, removed this translator thing. I'm not going to bother with um, language stuff right now. And then you'll see we have this uh, dollar sign trans uh, arrow trans pagination dot previous. Basically, all this is doing is fetching um, what kind of text you want to put in here. So by default, this is just previous and next um, within Laravel. So I've just deleted all of that. And I've just hard coded the text in here left and right. Now, the reason that I've hard coded left and right in there is because that is just what I want, um, because that's what is happening inside the, um, the Twitter bootstrap theme. So if we inspect these arrows to the right here and we open this up, you'll see um, we get this left arrow from having this, um, this class on the I element, which is fa-chevron.left and if I um, inspect the right one you'll see that we have fa-chevron.right 
So what I, I don't need some text in there saying previous or next. What I need is this little bit of text left and right because I need that to add on to the class um, so it knows whether it should show the left arrow or the right arrow. So I've updated these get previous and get next to um, accept the left and the right. And we need to do one thing before this, which is you need to create your, um, you need to instantiate your presenter object here. And what you need to do, um, what we're going to do right after this is we're going to, uh, where I'm going to show you what I created, which is my own custom presenter. So I've created my custom uh, presenter within um, that namespace folder I created, which was um, the leads folder. And now I've created a new folder within that called presenters, and I've put my um, simple presenter class inside that. So um, if we go over back to the app folder here, and then I open my leads folder now, we have the repository one from before, but now I have a new um, presenters folder. Inside the presenters folder, I now have a class simple presenter.php. And again, what I've done is I've copied um, I've copied over some some text from what what Laravel had before in its um, Bootstrap presenter, I believe it was. And I've basically just updated this to what I need um, to work with the Twitter Bootstrap theme. So I've namespaced this as lead presenters. Um, it's going to reside inside this you know custom uh, leads folder that I have here. And we need to bring in the presenter class from Illuminate. So I, at the top here, I have use Illuminate Pagination Presenter as presenter because our simple presenter class is going to extend this presenter class. Um, let's see if I can find the, the class where I uh, stole most of this from. You'll see that inside simple.php that comes with Laravel, um, we're instantiating the presenter object here. And we are, well, we're instantiating this bootstrap presenter um, class right here, which, um, which takes the paginator, which is already available um, within this class. So I think we can find this um, bootstrap paginator class. If we go into the vendor folder again, Laravel framework SRC illuminate, and then into pagination views, you will see um, the bootstrap presenter right here. And you'll see this is um, the default styling that you'll get with um, with Laravel. It's a Bootstrap compatible uh, syntax. So we have all of the list tags, and inside that we have um, the a tags. And this is um, compatible with Bootstrap 3, which is what I'm using. But because I'm using um, a custom Bootstrap 3 theme, um, they do things a little bit differently. So I need to I need to update this. Um, to something that's going to work with the theme that I'm using. So what I did was I copied um, all of this text and I pasted it into my simple presenter and then I'm just updating it to the HTML that I need um, to work with my theme. So basically what's happening with these presenters is the view is passing through some inf uh, is passing through some information um, into these functions. So, um, you know, the MVP design is, is a little bit different than MVC, and we definitely won't talk about MVP here, but um, basically uh, the view that I had here, index.blade.php, you can see that some functions are being invoked here, and they're passing through some data left and right here um, into the presenter. So you'll see that my simple presenter is um, it's taking this, um, it's taking this data here, and then it's uh, returning some HTML. So within our buttons, the get active page wrapper, this is basically just going to be um, an active, uh, when the button's active, it's going to have um, this HTML right here. And actually, uh, this didn't occur in my buttons. The only ones that were used is this get disabled text wrapper. So if we're on the, um, if we're on the very first page here, let's go over to the actual code. You'll see on the on the right here, um, the arrow is sort of grayed out, and that's because we're on the first page here. We can't, um, or we can't go any earlier than this. It's the first one, so that you'll see that um, you'll see that this one has a class of disabled here. So the span button default uh, button small and then disabled, and you'll see that um, you'll see that disabled text that I put in right here. Now, if there is a next page or a previous page, 
it's going to use this HTML right here, get page link wrapper, and the URL is the URL that it needs to go to. Laravel is going to sort this out for you. And the page variable here is also going to be the text, but it's going to be dynamic. So um, if it's left, Laravel will give it the left text, and if it's right, it will give it right. So you don't have to worry about this, but the page variable here is going to be um, left or right depending on, on which button it is. So as I mentioned, the this uh, view right here, index.blade.php, um, is passing through information um, to the presenter, simple presenter. You see get previous and get next, and you won't find these methods um, in this class right here, but you will find them in the class that it's extending, which is presenter. And if we open up the presenter class, you'll see those right here, get previous and get next. So with these get previous and get next functions, um, by default the text is going to be the less than character here, and it's going to be the greater than character for get next. But because we passed in left and right, um, those values are going to be used, and they're going to be uh, used within the, the functions body. A couple of things I want to mention. Um, with the view.php here, we only have one pagination option. So um, I'm going to have to think about how to go about this in the future because you know many different pages they're going to use their own kinds of pagination it's not going to be one kind of pagination used across the whole site so temporarily what I've done is I've just used the request segment so if we go over to the site here that request segment one is inbox right here so for the time being I can just use this segment and inbox and you'll see that that matches up with um, what I had um, in my view, if I can find that, let's close this vendor folder. Um, inside the views, we have uh, an inbox folder, and then here we have, or sorry, we have the pagination folder, and inside that we have index.blade.php. So other sites like FCL or whatnot, I could create FCL.blade.php um, like that. So this, that's just temporarily um, my solution for that. I just want to give one tip when using Chrome. Um, to basically to pull out HTML from a theme which is what I've done so if I just um, inspect these uh, the paginators that came with it you'll see that they're wrapped in a div tag and each of the different buttons the left and right buttons are an a tag and they have a whole bunch of stuff nested within that what you can do in Chrome is actually just get that whole element and all of the elements that are within it um, folded up and blue like this and then you just push control C over it and once you press control C you've actually copied all of that um, HTML to the clipboard and then you can just paste it in and you'll have all the HTML there and also all of the you know all of the child elements of the element that you selected so that's just a tip on um, pulling HTML out of the inspector so let's just try out the paginator first um, Within the, within the controller, the inbox controller, um, what I'm doing is I'm selecting all of my messages. So that's done with um, message where, let's make this text a little bit bigger, message where the recipient ID is equal to auth user ID, which is my ID. And then we use arrow paginate, and then how many results you want to show on each, each page. And I'm just showing um, three results for each page. So the messages variable is now a kind of special object. Um, it's still a collection, but it has all of the um, the pagination functionality built into it now. And we can call different of the methods um, that's involved with pagination. We can call those methods um, on this messages object as well. So let's go over to the site and test it out. I'll just go over to my um, first page right here. If I just go to um, slash inbox here you'll see nothing changes with the URL and we have three results here even though the total collection is 10 and you'll see I'm showing one to three of 10 and I'll show you how to get um, this text here at the bottom I also have um, displaying three of 10 and the pagination on the right here you'll see the um, the left arrow is all grayed out because as a class of disabled if I hit the next button um, we get results four to six if I hit next again we get seven to nine and finally if I hit it one more time um, we'll get the last result
um, the tenth message. You'll notice that in the URL um, we have page equals four here. Let's just go back again. Page equals three, and so on. And this is all done for you through Laravel. You do not need to worry about it at all. So the last thing I'll show you in this video is how we can get these uh, this extra data here, one to three of ten messages. Um, let's go over to the view. The paginator itself is uh, simply output with arrow links. So we have uh, my messages collection here, and then uh, but this is not a regular con collection. Remember because we have paginate3 at the end here. Um, so it's got some extra functionality. And then you just arrow links that will output the paginator itself. And then we also have some other uh, methods we can call here. Um, you'll see inside these strong tags we have messages get from and then get to of how many messages. Let's just uh, scroll over here. Of messages get total. Okay, so if I go back over to the HTML here you'll see get from now is the one let's make that bigger okay get from is the one get to is the three and then we have um, get total is ten and if you see at the bottom here this displaying three of ten um, this one is actually count I believe let's go over to um, let's go over to the HTML and make sure of that uh, that's at the bottom somewhere here yeah you'll see um, down here we have displaying messages count of messages get total. Um, so these are just some extra methods you can work, uh, you can use within uh, the paginator object. And those are also documented um, within Laravel's documentation. You can find them right here. A get current page, get last page, uh, get total, etc. So just running through really quickly all of the things you need to do to create um, your own custom paginator. The first thing you'll do is go to config, config uh, view.php. You will put in your own view here um, for your own custom paginator. Within that view, um, you are going to um, you, well, you're going to do some stuff right here. You can you can get some ideas from the you know the core classes that came. Um, within Laravel's paginator here. You're going to be passing some uh, data through to your presenter and inside your custom presenter you're going to um, output the HTML that you want to output and basically that's all you have to do to create your own custom paginator.